Dave, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Good to see you, Arizona. How does Arizona compare to all the Super Bowl cities you've been to? Is it a good city for a Super Bowl, or is it like... Yeah, it's a great city. It's a little spread out, but there's plenty of lodging. And uh, I, I have good memories here. The Patriots won the Super Bowl here, so that's how I judge, judge What's the What's been cities. the worst city you've seen in Super Bowl in? I'm trying to think if I've been in any bad cities. I really haven't. Uh, Houston's kind of a pain in the ass. Traffic's terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's so spread out. So that's probably my least favorite. I think it's crazy that the NFL is not allowing Barstool at Radio Row. I mean, Barstool is obviously one of the biggest media platforms out there. Did you get a reason why the one podcast is, or is that like? I think they ended up being able to work it out. They're ex-players, but the I'm still banned and direct employees. Goodell still hates us. He's He has no sense of humor, takes himself too seriously. He's a criminal, a crook, a coward. Uh, I could go on and on about him, but he really is. And it all stems from Deflategate. Um, when we got arrested trying to protest that, but he's a clown. He's uh, he stole money from charity. I tried to give them money for charity. He didn't do that. He dragged me out of Super Bowl handcuffs. He's lied under oath to Congress, and he doesn't know who Barstool is. He does. He's a crook, a criminal, a coward. Is it any way of this kind of fixing itself? Do you think the NFL ever put their tail between their legs and say, "Listen, let's Listen, just piece it up"? You guys are. You if guys Goodell are had even an ounce of self-awareness, he'd laugh it off, and it would be done. But he takes himself so seriously. Uh, and I guess when your job is just to be a dog that gets kicked around, you know, he has no talent, he doesn't have any brains. He's just a punching bag for the owners and takes all the heat. Uh, you have to have some degree of authority. It's, it's like small dick syndrome, really. Yeah. You know, it's like a guy who drives a big truck. He has no self-confidence in himself, yeah. so he has to, this is the one thing he can stick with. Yeah, yeah, There's a lot of parties going on this week. Are you, how do you hit, how do you... How does someone go through Super Bowl week? Because you hit all the parties. Like, are you planning to hit all of them, or how do you pick and choose which no, ones to go to? I'm getting old, so I, but it is crazy. And even from the time I started going to Super Bowls with Barcelona, we'd have to pay to get in. It was really yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah. We get invited to a lot. But, no, I, I'm going, uh, you actually the one that told me. I'm going to try to see Luke Combs, Dave Matthews. Those are the two that I want to hit because I like the music. Yeah, or will you go to the Fanatics party, Michael Rubin. That's a big so party. So I like Michael Rubin. But I will never step foot at one of his parties the rest of my life. And that all stems from, I have a place in the Hamptons. He throws the biggest white party. He like took over Diddy's party basically yeah, in yeah. the Hamptons. He invited me. I tried to invite my girlfriend, her sister, out of town. They flew in for Orlando. He would not give me the extra invites. Thanks, Kirk. Once, once you say no to me like that, I, I can't ever frequent your party. He doesn't need me as everybody in the sun. You will never catch me at one of his events the rest of my life. That's a that's a huge because there's you a gotta lot put of people. Your, you got to put your foot in the stand. Stand for something or stand for nothing. I love it. One last thing. Obviously, Barstool is about to go through a big transition. You know, you're no longer going to be owning Barstool, if I understand. If, yep, yep. How is the interest, How is the company going to change once that? It won't. So, Penn, who is completing their transaction with us, they did it like, I don't know, three years ago. And this is always the plan, so there'll be no change, at least for people, you know, watching or viewing Barstool. I'll have more money in my wallet. What about the people going to Chicago? Is that going to change anything? There's a lot well, of guys yeah. going to Chicago. It'll just be so. more content. Dan, Big Cast leading that, and it'll just be more content, more offices. Does that mean you're looking for new talent for the New York office, or what? Uh, no, not really. It's just Dan's from Chicago, and he wants to go move back home, and we let people do whatever they want. Interesting. One last thing. You've done a lot in your career. Is there anything else you want to do that you haven't done yet? Is there... You know, it's... No, I want to learn how to scuba dive, but that has nothing to do with my career. <laughs> that, there's nothing business-wise or just no. like, I'm good? No, I, no I'll disappear, go to a beach. I still got a lot of time left with Barstool, but after that, no, I take some time. I've been doing it for 20 years now. Any future bets that you have coming up? Super Bowl, uh, right now I'm leaning Chiefs, but it's a fluid situation. I love it, dude. You're the good guy, man. Cool. Good to see you. Keep Thank you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Two seconds.